Have you got a 4G LTE router hoping for a better internet connection and the speed is still disappointing? Well, there actually might be a few reasons for that. And in this video we're gonna review a few simple steps how to avoid these most common issues. First, have you actually tried just walking around your house looking for a good signal? Usually, putting the router close to a window should result in a better connection. The easiest way to find an optimal location is just by walking around the house and checking where you get the best signal. The next thing is very simple, but gets overlooked way too often. And I myself sometimes forget about this one. Check it out. Has your router come with external antennas? If so, you should definitely try putting them on. Surprisingly, a lot of people never try screwing on the antennas that come with the package of the product. And that's a shame because you're never gonna reach the speed and the reliability of the internet connection that you were promised. You may also try out the third party antennas, ranging in types, sizes, price points and of course level of effectiveness. Outdoor antennas could be your best bet. Another area to look into if you're not satisfied with the speed of your 4G LTE router is its LTE category. For example, if an LTE CAT4 router can offer speeds up to 150 megabits, a higher category LTE ACAT6 router with carrier aggregation will demonstrate much better results. For example, Teltonica Network's Root X series cellular devices reach speeds up to 300 megabits. Stay tuned for our upcoming video where we talk about LTE categories but in more detail. The last but in some cases most efficient way to increase your 4G internet speed is band locking. The band that is chosen automatically is not always the one that will offer the fastest or most stable available connection. Therefore, locking your device to a specific LTE band could significantly increase the connection speed and the reliability of it. Check out this video to see how you can easily lock LTE bands on our Teltonica Networks devices. Summing up, the reason for the underperformance of your 4G LTE router usually lies in one of these four factors, or combination of them. Obviously, the signal strength and the bandwidth flow from your operator is still a significant factor. However, using our tips, you should be able to squeeze the best of what you've got. Have you tried taking any of these steps? If yes, please share your experience with us in the comments below. If you like our content, hit that subscribe button and good luck.